Alright you guys, so we're on the Feed the Beast server, which is up and running again, and guess what? I've got this ancient staff, so if you look at the recipe for it, I had to make this stuff, so you know, I needed a bunch of these rubies, and I needed um, just one nether star. Um, so it wasn't that hard to craft or anything, you know? Um, but now we can go to the promised land, and so if I, I read the wiki, and it should spawn the portal way up in the sky there kind of worried it's gonna destroy stuff though so maybe I'll do it not here right by all the stuff um, <laughs> right here seems like a good location because it's not really by anything just in case it doesn't go way up in the sky for some reason so here we go uh-huh there it is nice Depleted Ancient Staff. Oh my god, so the promised land is up there, you guys. Let's fly to it, if we can make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh shit. No, we're going to make it. Fine. <laughs> um, I heard that you can't actually get these blocks from mining them. But you can get them from force wrenching them but i don't want to break the portal so uh we're not going to do that just yet <laughs> um uh, i guess i go in there all right let's do it oh my god i don't know what to expect i've never been to the promised land or whatever this is i think it's part of the biomes of plenty mod um and it just, it's like a whole new dimension, um, but it's just a world with eternal day, and it has a few, like, like it, it's completely unique, like, it doesn't have, I don't know how to explain it, it has its own or, ores, like, a two kinds of ores, I think, and trees and stuff, okay, so we're gonna get some lag here, I assume, just to generate the terrain, Oh, that's so nice. I could live here, man. That's so nice. Already. But then there's just normal world down there, and then there's like those floating islands, I guess. So while this is loading, I'm just going to take this, um, promised land portal, um, rod I made here and just set it up so that I can return here at any moment's notice. So if I just do this, um, I should be able to do that and save. Um, now if I'm over here, it should always just spawn me back there. Nice. So now I can't get lost. Um, that was really important for me to do before I came here because I can't get lost. So, woo! I'm really scared to go down there though because it's so far down. I don't know what to expect. Okay, it's not that it's not that far down. Whew. So we got these cool blocks. I wonder Do I have my Yeah I do. Like, I, I'm just wondering if this is, uh, I need nothing. I need this. I wanted to get some purified grass blocks, but I also wanted to just put that water there. See, it's not water. Water bucket. Huh. So it does turn into water. But you get regeneration. Oh, okay, so it's just this regeneration water that we saw before. Okay. Nothing too crazy. We got these trees, which look very interesting. Uh, what are they called? Loftwood wood. Loftwood wood. <laughs> Do you really need the two woods in there? Oh man, this is so. I, I so I guess you can just like jump into the void and you'll you'll end up back at like homeland, but it's like you end up at level two fifty six, so you might die. But anyways, I'm going to go eat dinner, but I just wanted to show you spawning the portal here, 
and I'll be back to explore this and record me ex like exploring this land, I guess, because uh, I guess there's probably a lot to, to know about magic wood. Yeah, so I'll be back. All right, what is up, you guys? Dirty Fargo here. And we're on the Mind Void Unleashed server, and man, I've done a lot. I was gonna do a Mind Void episode next, but I just, I did so much. I just got addicted to this shortly because it, the server hasn't been up for so long. Um, so I did, like, a lot of stuff. Um, and I have a lot to show you. Um, a lot to talk about. I guess you probably just saw me spawn. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. But you probably saw me spawn that, which is right there, and we have, uh, um, right here, overworld promised land portal, so if I wanted to go up there, we can, we're up there now, awesome, there's down there, um, but yeah, if we wanted to go back home, just go back home, so, ah, I've done so much, it's hard to know where to start, I don't really want to start in here, actually, because that's going to be the later stuff, um, but we got some saplings. We got these loftwood saplings, which don't seem to work here. So I'm wondering, maybe they can only grow in the, what's it called, dimension? The promised land dimension or whatever. Because I've tried bone, bone meal, whatever. Nothing grows. We've got a lot of other stuff from it. Um, We got, it's okay. So we got this, these trees, which are pretty cool. Magic wood. And we got uh, these green slime trees, and these things, they give you si slime, like if I did this, it gives me four slime. And the leaves look cool, they don't really do have any purpose, but yeah, these trees, I can regrow them with bone meal, and they give me free slime. So if I have like a tree farm for this, you know, I can get um, unlimited slime, which is pretty cool, but I think I'd rather have a tier 5 slime spawner eventually. Um, but still pretty cool that we have slime trees, um, and we got this other slime stuff too, we got slimy grass, um, we got, oh yeah, that's the green slime right there, I put it down on the ground because I wanted to see if slimes would spawn on it, because that'd be really cool, but no, um, we got the blue slime, and we got the blue slime dirt, ooh, I hear a golem, um, we got this purified grass block, which does not spread, as far as I can see. I, I did test it, and as far as I can see, it didn't spread. Every other grass did spread, like the alpha grass spreads, the slimy grass spreads, the long grass spreads, um, but this grass does not for some reason. Um, yeah, so that's that's all that stuff. I got all the woods over here. I added them to it. So here we got the magic wood, which I quite like. I really like the leaves on the magic wood as well. But the slimy leaves are cool too. But the magic wood's probably my favorite wood, just because of the planks. I really like the planks. They look so cool. And the loft wood wood right here, which also is pretty nice. Um, so we've got all that stuff. And I guess I should... Uh, I don't remember if I made a waypoint in here. Oh, it was just like that though. There's one right here. I wonder if this was the same one. I think it probably was. Um, but this, this is the slime, all the slime, where I found all the slime stuff, like the slime tree and stuff. And slimes will just like naturally spawn here all the time, I guess. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I'll have to come here when I want to get a thing started, when I want to get a slime shard started. Actually, I think it's only the blue ones though. Um, but I think you can use that slime as normal slime, I'm not sure. Um, we got some other stuff from this place too, though. We got, like, crystals, and I, I don't know. This place is just, like, really nice looking. There's the loftwood trees, but which we can't grow back home, it seems. Um, but I'm just gonna go, um, this is what I need. Go here, go through this. I want to show you the other stuff that I got from the promised land, if we go back here. I love how fast that was. So we got, you know, celestial crystals, crystal shards. This stuff is kind of like glowstone, it seems. Like, see how it lights everything up? Um, but yeah, I like it. It's really cool. So we got all this stuff. Sky stone, which is, which is what made this, which is what is at the end, the doorway entrance. Um, but, uh, I have no idea what most of this stuff does yet. So, or what it's for. Like this flower looks so crazy. Oh, I can't place it down, but 
It like glows and stuff. I don't know if you can see. You know, my particle effects maybe aren't on or something. Yeah, also, this is for Dom, because, like, I killed a skeleton, and it gave me this, and it was in a, it was, my, like, my exact, uh, chest plate, name and all. Like, I don't get it, like, why, like, I guess they, like, sometimes, rarely, mobs will spawn with the same stuff you have on, maybe? Maybe that's a thing? I don't know, but, uh, because I know, I know Slowpoke said something about the harder, like, the, the more set up you are, the harder the mobs will be, or something? I don't know if that's in this right already, but like, yeah, I definitely found a mob with this on. And I found other hard mobs that were really hard to kill too. But yeah, it gave me another one of these. So now we both have, um, advanced nanosuit chest plates, which is sick. And if Dom already has one, he can give it to whoever else. Um, all right. So the second thing I'm going to show you is that I upgraded the power by one solar thing. Um, so. We got double the power. I still need to upgrade that a lot, though. And I don't, I don't even think I, I showed that I got this um, advanced nanosuit chest plate, which takes a lot to charge, by the way. Like, more than my MFE holds. Like, almost twice the amount that my MFE holds. Um, so, I'm going to need to upgrade my power stat. And for another reason as well, which you, you will see soon. Um, but, I've got some other news over here. We've got... Uh, tier 5 zombie or no not zombie cow and a tier 5 sheep spawner as you can see you just saw a sheep spawn um so now we can just like leave that those on for however long we want and things will keep spawning and we can just leave our uh <laughs> leave our mob grinder on both of them and then just like keep automatically collecting all this stuff i don't know why i think because I have my magnet on, I'm I'm sucking all this stuff up before it goes into the grinder. So maybe that's what's happening. It should it should pick that stuff up. Maybe it's not because it's like a I don't know I don't know why it's not picking it up. Maybe because it's like the mob spawned cows and not the ones it knows. I, I'm not sure. But it seems to be not collecting the stuff, so I'm gonna have to look into why that's doing that. Um, that sucks. Cause, well, it is collecting, it's just not collecting all of it, I guess. Huh. Like, this goes into there, right? Yeah, so it's the same item. I don't know why some of it's not collecting, or maybe it just takes time for it to collect, I'm not sure. Um,. But that didn't even take long to do. Like, so now we have unlimited cows and sheep. Don't have to worry about the breeder anymore. Like, so we can have all this can go to us. Why did this stop? So I'm going to repair this. Um, I don't know why it stopped, though. Because these are all powered, so it should keep going. Maybe I just don't understand it properly. Um, it's nighttime now. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime. But why would it stop? I don't know. I don't know, it shouldn't, it still shouldn't stop on those powered rails. Okay, so, another spawner that we've got, um, or that I got, um, is, a uh, Pigman spawner, and I just added it to this farm, but I think I'm gonna have to make some modifications to this farm, and I'm gonna change it to something that I'm gonna show you in the future in this video, um, but I think I have a, a way better way of killing them quick, way quicker, um, this isn't on, right? Yeah, I think it's off now, but yeah, we got pigman abilities now. You can see pigman down there, but we flip this, you can see pigman spawning as well as the withers. So, awesome, tier 5. We don't have storage for the pigman stuff, so we're gonna have to uh, make accommodations for that. But definitely gonna switch up the way I kill these guys. Oh yeah, this isn't even on, so it's probably just like not even killing them. Um, whatever. <laughs> um, anyways, so if we go, so that's that's awesome. I'm just stoked about having that. That's like free gold now. Uh, we just need a wither one, or not a wither one, a witch one, a slime one. There's so many. Um, I'm working on one already. Another one. If you go down here, I can show you it. It's in... Don't know, there. Uh, 
a gassed one, so I've almost got tier one, uh, close, but I haven't actually, well, I haven't actually killed, uh, killed this many, uh, gas, but I'm, I'm using the, my sword has, uh, Soul Stealer 5 on it, so, you know, get lots of that. So, a gas one would be nice to have too, although I don't know exactly what we're going to do to auto-kill them, but I'm sure it won't be hard with all the mods we have. Actually, I know exactly how I'll auto-kill them. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to sleep here for a second. So, I've also got the some new wands and stuff, because for some reason, like, this glitched out and despawned on me, so I had to remake it. I don't know. Um, and I lost all the contents in it, so I had to remake a bunch of my tools. But anyways, uh, we got a rod of fire resistance, which is awesome. And you can obviously imagine what that does, don't have to explain it. Same with the rod of speed. Um, everything else is the same, I believe. We got like a different shovel, because I didn't want it to be a heat shovel or a macerating shovel. I didn't want that. Um, I got a new bow, because I lost my bow. It's much better better now i don't have the ender effect on it i don't want it i got luck four though so that's like looting which is awesome i, w I wish i could get soul stealer on it um but I can't um i think i made a new pick too but that's nothing special um okay okay let's get out of here and let's show you the last thing i need to show you so i set up some mffs stuff um, the new MFS, MFFS, Calvacia, Calvacia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the first thing you need to build. You hook it up to some, any power, any power source, and, uh, it will convert it to photron, fortrons, which are the power for this whole MFFS system. And, uh, you can set it to a frequency, so then all, if you set all your machines to this frequency, it will, um, you know, you can see what it will do. It will, take this power sorry um and so i've got two sources going a power going into it just in case um because mine's not the greatest source of power but anyways i've got some capacity modules in here to make it so it can hold more gotta add some more modules to that thing soon um but what it does is it sends power to this thing which is the fortron capacitor which i'm not too sure on the purpose of this i guess it's like the mfe for it's like a storage power storage for this whole mfs system but i guess you need it um so i got some speed modules in here to speed up the sending and receiving I, I don't know actually which it speeds up but so if you could help me on that um but yeah it's it's not that complicated um this is this button is just to change like how the power gets out like distributed among the machines um, so right now it's on equal, so all of them will have equal power. It doesn't need, it's full power right now, so it's, it's not actually doing anything. But I'll show you right now, I have, this is the projector, right here. And I have it in sphere mode, some translation modules, silence module, so you can't hear anything in it. Um, capacity module to increase the amount of power this thing can hold, some speed modules to speed up the projection of the portal, of the, no, sorry, the, um, force field speed up the force field and then some scale models to make it bigger so that does that and then this thing which is also connected to this redstone lever um what it does is within uh, the range that you give it so uh, this is just to increase its range um it will kill all hostile mobs with this with this one and with this one it will prevent it the hostile mobs from being able to break um any blocks i guess so I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna try like replacing all of this ground, um, once I test it some more. But, uh, yeah, so those are the things I have in here, and so you, I'll show you what it does. So once we flick this on, you'll start to see it, it get powered up. So it makes the force field like that, um, and it's awesome. It sometimes crashes the server, this whole system. I don't know why, but I love this whole light beam thing going on. But so awesome. So awesome to just be able to control it with this one lever too. Um, it makes it super easy to, to do, to do what I want to do in it. And did I say what I want to do in it? Um, 
kill withers. That's my primary focus of this uh, whole system. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's kill some withers right in front of your face. Um, no, I don't want to do two at once. I'm too scared. Because if something goes wrong, you're like so screwed. Okay, so right there. Um, go up here. Up and up. Flick it on. That's why I want the speed modules so it speeds up. So it's definitely done by the time this guy is done. And yeah. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost just broke the whole world. I don't know if I did that to your place, Dom. So this doesn't even work. That never happened to me before. I just want the wither. Wither star, we got it, but like, why? Why did that happen? If you guys know why that happened, let me know. Cause I thought, like, this seemed to work the, the other times that I tested it. We're gonna test it again, but I'm just very scared, cause, uh, you, you can see why I'm scared. If it gets out, like, we have some serious troubles. I'm gonna test it only one more time, cause I have to be really quick on killing him, um, if it doesn't work out. I don't understand why that didn't work though, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step away this time so he doesn't come right to the side like that. Um, cause that obviously influenced him getting out as fast as he did. So I'm gonna stand back. Please don't get out, but be ready for a fight, Jesse. Okay, he see that's what it did the other times. It just killed him like instantly. So why didn't it do that 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 other time? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, why am I getting so many flowers? Let's do a third test because that one went so well. We have to do another one. Um, only downside about doing it this way is like when I kill him last time, I got like five stars. So. Um, I don't know, maybe my sword gives, lets me get five, like, five stars sometimes. Oh, don't want that like that. See, back up a little bit, but not too much. I don't, I just don't want him to come to the side like that. That's one of those. See, look at how quick that was that, those two times. Why didn't it work like that? Why? I love that though. I love how quick it's just like, boom, done. You're done. Um. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, took me a while to figure out exactly what modules I needed and, and how to do it. Like, at first I was trying to put all these into the, the projector. Um, but I didn't realize you actually needed this interdiction matrix. Um. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's like, not in range when he comes that close. I don't, but I still don't know how he would get through the, the thing. Like, I thought that that made it so he can't get through. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what's, uh, why he got through that one time. I'm glad it did it though, because then you guys can help me figure out what was wrong exactly. Um, but just really stoked about that. Um, can kill withers really easily and it's really useful because I don't know if you saw the amount of heads we have but we have a lot so we can get lots of beacons and portal spawners and magnet mitts I love these things uh, the, or the magnet gloves they should be called magnet mitts though so it works better but look at all this oh yeah over a stack um, I guess we should just turn this on 
these guys need to die. So we basically have like two stacks of heads, pretty much. Including the ones that I've got in my hands. So the next thing I'm going to do is power. Um, I don't like it, but uh, I've got to do it. Because I need s lots more power for this thing to be able to... You know, I, I could have a much bigger projection. Um, or smaller. I, I could do more with, with it. I, I, I think that's what I want to do next after I upgrade my power is... I want to do a quarry with this thing because you can have these... Uh, let's see... That's not where I wanted to go. That's not where I want to go either. This is where I want to go. Um, where did I put them? In here? Yeah. So you can have the disintegration modules, and they they kind of act like a quarry. And if you if you have these uh, collection modules with them right here, so you know this collects it, and this just destroys blocks, and this this collects the blocks. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely want to build a little quarry with that, but I need more power because it, I think it uses a lot of power and you want to have lots of speed, uh, modules in it. So it speeds it up and you could have like a really, really fast quarry. So yeah, that's what I want to, it's definitely what I want to do next because that seems really fun. Um, but I really need more power, um, especially for my suit because this thing holds a lot so it lasts me a long time but you know and actually like now the more that I think about it and the more that I'm playing around with this thing um what I, I, I don't know why but it doesn't like correlate well with the other fly mode like did you see how I was just like flying down there like why am I flying down I'm pressing spacebar it shouldn't fly down um so I don't know if it's just buggy or like in correlation with like I think maybe in correlation with this it's just buggy yeah see this feels more like normally how it feels so it's just buggy with this so I think uh, eventually I want the full quantum suit but that's gonna be a while because I think uh, and the gravity chest plate and the Varja but we're pretty set up other than that like other than the power and um, this stuff I just mentioned we're so set up, like, so much wood, like, look at all this, so almost 600, uh, stacks, um, so much wheat, so much leather and freaking meat, so much wool, and, uh, lamb chops, you know, we're gonna have lots of slime, so much X, like liquid XP that this is just gonna be automatically keep on going and going because of those spawners. So we're gonna just like eventually we're gonna have a full tank pretty quick, like I figure. Um, Dom's got his B thing going on, unlimited blaze rods, you know, unlimited uh, coal and skulls and wither stars and I don't know, like what and gold and. We have unlimited iron. Like, what isn't unlimited yet is the, the better question, you know? Um, and that's what we need to work on, basically. Because once we get everything unlimited, we'll, like, UU. Once we have the unlimited UU, then we'll be able to get that um, quantum suit um, ASAP. Super quick. Um, so that's it for me this episode, you guys. I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm really trying to think right now. We've got a portal to the mine shaft. I don't know if I showed that yet. But like it just goes down to the mine shaft so whenever I want to go mining I have easy easy access, you know. Um Bottled Creeper which is kinda cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get somebody good with that. Um bottled blue sign. Those are my nether stars. Um Oh, and I have three to add to my nether stars. Sweet. So, if we look at uses, we can see all the stuff we can do with our unlimited nether stars. I already made this. This is what I made to go to the promised land. Um, we need beacons, so we're going to make some beacons. Don't really need a gravity gun. Advanced nuclear information reader. I'll have to look into what mod that's from and what that's all about. That sounds kind of cool. Port of spawner. Huh. Don't know what that does. 
don't know what the miniature black hole does. Interesting. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.